Our next inductee is one of my all-time favorite players, Tom Burke. Tom was one of the greatest defensive linemen ever to come through the University of Wisconsin. He was the National Defensive Player of the Year. He was a lot of fun to coach every day, and quite a character, by the way. Tom, an honor well deserved. Congratulations. One of the most dominant defensive players in Wisconsin history, Tom Burke was a consensus All-American in 1998 after making 22 sacks. That's a Big Ten record that still stands today. Tom, congratulations on this tremendous honor. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's quite the pleasure to be involved in this class, and, and I'm really excited about it. Can we start by getting an update on, on where you are and what you're up to these days? Sure. Uh, I live up in the north Northwoods, way up in Duluth, Minnesota right now. Um, I'm retired, live with my girlfriend and her kids, and uh, just enjoying life. We're being cooped up with this whole COVID deal, so, you know, we're getting closer as a family and, and, and doing those things and homeschooling and and all that stuff. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Can you can you indulge us and share what your reaction was when when Coach Alvarez called you and said you were you were going to be a Hall of Famer? I got a call from him early in the morning, and I was just ruffling out of bed. And you know, I was like, "Well, I'll take a shower and I'll call him back." And uh, I couldn't get in my phone. I I couldn't remember my passcode for my phone, so I couldn't call him. And I was locked out of my phone for nine days. And I started noticing. Uh, phone calls from uh, Chris McIntosh and Aaron Gibson and all these people, you know, and I'm like, what is going on, you know? And uh, finally I got with AT&T and Samsung and got into my phone and, and I uh, was able to call back and, and got the news. It was really awesome. So you're, you're joining this class with a good friend of yours and, and a former teammate, Aaron Gibson. Have you had the chance to talk to him since finding out that you are both hall of famers? Absolutely. He was, uh, he was one of the first people I talked to, um, in the deal because obviously it took nine days for me to find out and he had already known and he was trying to get a hold of me. So yeah, what a great honor it is to be inducted in the same class as Aaron Gibson. Uh, him and I are cut from the same cloth and uh, I couldn't be more honored. If you're cut from the same cloth as Gibby, it's a large cloth. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> he got so, most of the cloth. <laughs> you, you are legendary for having uh, unmatched motor and intensity on the field. How, how would you describe how you played football? I played it like it was the only thing I had in life. Um, football was an outlet for me in many ways. Uh, it started as a young, at a young age. And, and uh, when I first, my first day of football, I got in practice. I was tiny. I was 4'11", 89 pounds in sixth grade. I'm a twin. So I was small early, you know, and, uh, once I got in, I worked over a kid that was in eighth grade, about 180 pounds and, and found a way to take out those aggressions, you know, a little young guys have, and, and as men we have, and to have a place where you can do it, where you don't get any trouble. That's nice. But, uh, the passion I had for the game, you know, I got so much back out of it to, to do something and have 80,000 fans jump out of their seats is, I mean, it's just an amazing feeling and knowing that millions at home are doing the same thing, you know, to give back to the community in that way is awesome. So let's go back to your senior season. You had, you had 10 sacks in your first three years combined and then 22 as a senior. And there's a legend that you set a goal really high for that season. What, what was the difference that year? If we look back on my career, my first play in on defense was a sack. Um, the first play I got in, uh, I got a sack my freshman year and I didn't, I only started like two, two years, three games as a full starter, I think. And that was a big issue with the, the number early on, but coming into my senior year, you know, we, well, my junior year, we played up in Syracuse against um, Syracuse and Donovan McNabb up in Syracuse. And I remember Tarek Sala the year before um, had a sack forced fumble and a recovery. And we were working on some visualization deals and the whole night before that game, I visualized sacking the quarterback, forcing the fumble, recovering the fumble. And they came out with uh, their first first and 10 on the five yard line coming out. And I knew on our scouting report, it was 100% quarterback draw. Well, he set back for that pass and I ran a stunt with the tackle and came under and hit him, forced the fumble and recovered it. And once I realized the power that I really possessed, if I put everything together mentally and physically, what I could do you know, it wasn't that that goal wasn't a, a giant goal for me. It was for the world, but I knew I was going to do it. You recall that like it was yesterday. That's amazing that you can remember it so well. Yeah. So maybe this is maybe you just answered this, but you had so many standout performances. 
is there one that holds a special place in your heart, either something that either a game that you did particularly well in or just that the team achieved? I, uh, I got to say Iowa my senior year. Um, I had five sacks in that game. And they did a uh, up close and personal in the program um, during that game. And uh, one of the questions was, what is something most people would not know about you? And I, my answer was, I wrote, I write poetry and love songs. And I was like the first play of the game, I lined up against a tackle and the tackle said to me, he's like, Hey, Burke, why don't you write me a love song? And it just, it clicked something in me, you know, it was just like, Hey, you know, that's, that's part of who I am. And you're going to step on that. Well, I talked with my pads and I did and ended up with five sacks in that game. That is, a, that's an awesome story. And I, I bet we have a guest here that remembers that story pretty well too. We've got, we've got somebody that, that recorded a message and wanted to say hi here. Hello, Tom. Coach Kaz here. How you doing, buddy? Hey, want to congratulate you on being inducted into the University of Wisconsin Hall of Fame. What a great honor it is for you, and it's so well-deserved. You're one of the big reasons that we won the 1998 Big Ten Championship and 1999 Rose Bowl. Uh, with great players like you, we are able to achieve great success. Congratulations. Wow, that's awesome. Coach Kaz, yeah, you know, uh, when I made that goal at 20 sacks my senior year, um, I had to go in front of Coach Palermo, each player he goes through the the goal sheet, you know, and he kind of was like, you know, I think you might be setting a goal a little high here, you know, you had nine sacks last year, now you're doubling and adding two, you know, and, and right away I just, I took offense to it, but I, you know, nowadays when I look back on it, I realized what, <laughs> what a hard job I made for him because that cause and, and, and coach Palermo did everything in their power to make sure that I reached that goal. And I made their job really super hard. And you know what, they, they answered every call and every beckon that I, I sent to them. And, and man, I, I couldn't, couldn't have had better coaches to help me through it. You might've made their job hard, but you took them to pretty great heights too. Is there anybody that you'd like to take this chance to, to say thanks to or to recognize? Yeah, you know, I, I believe I played against two best tackles in the country and Chris McIntosh and Aaron Gibson. Um, in my career, probably two of the top I've ever played against in my life. And having that opportunity to play with them guys really up my career. Uh, I'd also like to thank all the coaches throughout my whole life that I've had that I've been in the right place at the right time. And I've had great guidance. And most of all, my family, my friends, and the fans on Wisconsin, I mean, without these people pulling for me and praying for me, it's, you know, it all, it was all pieces of the puzzle. And the biggest ones were the, the fans and family and friends. Tom, great to see you. Congratulations. You belong in the Wisconsin Athletics Hall of Fame and, and now you are taking your rightful place. Thank you. Thanks to Coles for helping us celebrate the entire class of 2020. You too can celebrate the Badgers and get your gear at your local Coles or Coles.com.